There's several ways to treat your team members like entrepreneurs, and they're not all financial. I think we know that. If you treat people with respect, number one, if you provide them with the freedom and authority to do their roles, very simply, you can create a culture where people feel like you care about them, that they want to be there, they feel vested, and they will act like owners within your organization. You certainly can take it to other levels as well financially. One of the best methods I've seen work for me financially is providing some level of profit sharing or growth value sharing with the organization's leaders, where they truly feel as the organization is growing, they're growing the wealth of their own P&L and balance sheets within their own households. We all have our P&Ls and balance sheets. We all you know, try and aspire to have a very strong balance sheet for our own families. So if entrepreneurs start caring about that a little bit more and they can align those together, whereas if the company goes from level X to level Y, the people who help grow that business from those two levels can participate in that growth someday. It's a really important mechanism to make somebody feel like they're a part of it. You can't necessarily do that for everybody, but you can certainly do it for the key leadership that drives the business. You certainly can reward them in the form of profit sharing in their 401k plans or good bonus programs and incentives that drives them to not only provide a good return on investment for the business, but provide them as an employee a good return on investment on their time investing in your company.